So here are some fans out there who are actually asking, begging for Cam Newton to be signed by the Washington football team. Now, let's break this down. Whenever that your team is not playing well, they're losing, usually the, the ones who get blamed, the head coach, defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, and the quarterback. Uh, maybe not in that order, but those are usually the four top people who are getting blamed for losing. Uh, well, yeah, the owner as well, but that goes without saying, I guess. So right now I'm seeing stuff on social media about we need to go out and sa sign Cam Newton because, you know, Cam Newton is a better quarterback than Taylor Heineke and Kyle Allen, and maybe even um, Ryan Fitzpatrick. First of all, you can't just go out and sign Cam Newton because you're going to have to likely wave or get rid of, uh, you know, another player on the team to make room for Cam Newton. Uh, secondly, you would probably only do that if... Ryan Fitzpatrick was on IR for the whole season. He's not on IR for the whole season. He's on IR for, I believe it's maybe six to eight weeks. Um, hopefully he comes back um, within around the six week period. So you're looking at maybe another three or four games that he would be out. Um, but you can't go out and sign Cam Newton for now and say, hey, let's just put him in and let him play. It's, it's not Madden football, okay? Secondly, or thirdly, whichever point I'm on, uh, the thing is, is that Cam Newton, if Ron Rivera really wanted to reunite with Cam Newton, he would have done this last year. Cam Newton was available yet last year before the New England Patriots signed him, and Rivera did not bring him to Washington. Why did he not bring him to Washington? Well, <clears throat> you could probably argue that um, Cam was not healthy, and so Rivera probably wanted to make sure that he had someone healthy to, you know, to bring them in. And also, you, you have to remember, we still had Alex Smith, who was technically still on the roster, even though he had been out you know, a year and a half with that leg injury. Um, you had um, Dwayne Haskins, who uh, was drafted in 2019. Um, you had, um, who else did you have? Um, probably, I think at that point, maybe we had, um, well, you know, I can't remember, honestly. I don't know if we still had Colt McCoy on the team at that point or not. Uh, but anyway, past that, uh, you had Alex Smith, you had um, Dwayne Haskins. Oh, well, of course, we're talking about Ron Rivera. So he also had Kyle Allen as well. So um, he, he wasn't going to go out and sign, uh, you know, Cam Newton at that point. And, you know, Cam, he didn't have that great of a season with Patriots. Um, many felt he was still recovering uh, from his injuries from the previous year. And so we fast forward to this offseason and, you know, it remains the same. People kept talking about Cam Newton. And, you know, they were like, let's go out and sign Cam Newton. What do you have to lose? You know, Alex Smith has retired. There, you know, we've gotten rid of Dwayne Haskins. So there's a spot on the team for Cam Newton. So we don't sign Cam Newton. We go out and we sign Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, I mean, honestly, folks, that should tell you that Ron Rivera is not going to sign Cam Newton now or any time in the future. So I think we should probably quash um, any type of Cam Newton talk because it's not going to happen. And lastly, if Cam Newton is really the answer, why has no one else signed him yet? 
I mean, that that's the question. He is still not playing quarterback in the NFL right now. No one has signed him. No one has signed him as backup. And he has already, you know, pretty much stated that he is not a backup quarterback. He is a starting quarterback, and he feels that he's better than the other 32 starting quarterbacks in the league, which I would greatly argue. Um, but having said all this, don't get me wrong, I love Cam Newton. He he does a lot for the community. He does a lot for children. Uh, he is a fantastic guy. Um, and he, at one time, at one time, he has been a fantastic player. I mean, a big bruising quarterback um, who's got the wills to get it done. Um, of course, he led the, the Carolina Panthers to a nearly perfect season. And what was it, 2015, went to the Super Bowl. I mean, Cam Newton has had some success in his career. But at this point, I don't know. I mean, he's definitely lost a lot because of injuries. I mean, he's gotten beat up and battered throughout the, his career. And a lot of that probably has to do with the fact that since he's so big, uh, there's not a lot of calls that get called um, in his favor you know, like if you had Tom Brady scrambling and for some reason doesn't, you know, slide and, you know, dives forward and takes a big hit, uh, a lot of times the defender is going to get a penalty because it's Tom Brady. But that's not the case with Cam Newton because, well, you know, Cam Newton is a big guy. He can absorb it. And um, so, but that's another totally another subject for another video. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one.